guys welcome back to my channel what i have on my face is a full face of vegan and or cruelty free makeup if you want to know what brands are out there that's 100 percent vegan or cruelty free definitely keep on watching welcome to my bare face so I have been doing my research and I'm so excited to do this video because I like videos where you learn things. I have this whole box full of vegan and or cruelty free makeup and I did the research to make sure that they are really certified vegan and or cruelty free so I tried to look that up myself and also when I say like a certain product is vegan or cruelty free I am 100% sure it is for like let's say the particular product that I'm using but a brand as a whole may not be necessarily vegan or cruelty free just because I talk about ColourPop doesn't mean every product that ColourPop has is vegan or cruelty free unless I explicitly mention it. So we'll get into that. So the only thing I have done are my brows because they take forever and they're no fun to watch. I use the Brow Bar by Rima. And this is a brand that I never really knew about until I got it in my BoxyCharm box. And it's my favorite brow product. And I've never been one to use like brow products in general. I feel like I have a lot of brows. I don't have time for brows. <laughs> it's not my favorite type of makeup. But ever since I started using this, I cannot do my makeup without it. And it also comes with this brow gel. So I haven't done the brow gel. So Brow Bar by Rima is cruelty free and paraben free, but I haven't seen any research that says they are vegan. Before we get started, I think it's important that we note what the differences are between cruelty free, vegan, PETA certified, Leaping Bunny certified. So I'm gonna put it up here on the screen. Cruelty free means they're not tested on animals or at any point in the production process. Leaping Bunny certified or PETA certified means never again that they're going to test on animals um, in any part of their process in their production up to the final product. Also PETA certified means 100% vegan. Now what does vegan mean? It doesn't contain any animal derived products but they may test on animals. So just because a product is vegan doesn't necessarily mean they are cruelty free. But if you are PETA certified, it's 100% vegan and also 100% cruelty free. So we need to look out for those little nuances between vegan and cruelty free, right? Just because it's cruelty free doesn't mean they're vegan or vice versa. So it just depends. Hopefully this video will kind of guide you through it. You know, we're going to play with makeup and all of the makeup that I'm using today are vegan and or cruelty free. So let's go ahead and get started. Normally I start with a primer, some sort of primer. So today let's use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Smashbox is cruelty free and 100% vegan. However, it is important to note that their parent company, Estee Lauder, actually do test on animals. It's also important to note that this primer water is 100% cruelty-free and vegan, but the company, Smashbox, as a whole, is not necessarily cruelty-free and vegan. I love this during the winter time because when your skin is dry and parched, you know, you need that extra hydration. It feels so good on the skin. For foundation, I have the Bounce Beauty Blender liquid foundation this has such a unique packaging it has like a little tray at the back where you can kind of pump the product in unlock it and there it goes the product comes out and the beauty blender fits perfectly into the tray right here so let's go ahead and put this on our face so the beauty blender foundation is full of antioxidant it has hyaluronic acid is a natural matte finish it is a cruelty free and vegan foundation this is my favorite sponge when it comes to the under eyes and applying the concealer but mostly i love it because it's small enough to get into the eyes for concealer we're going to use the C Hydro Concealer by Tarte. I have the color 35S Medium Tan Sand. So I love these hydrating concealers under my eyes. It's not like super full coverage. I do have to kind of apply 
a little more than I need to because it's not 100% full coverage. Tart is 100% cruelty free. It is vegan. It's also gluten free. And the concealer is full of marine extracts, caffeine, niacinamide. The e.l.f. concealer is cruelty free, paraben free, and 100% vegan. I suddenly put e.l.f and Tarte up there. Elf and Tarte as a brand and as a whole is 100% cruelty free and vegan. Can you believe that? I've never been wowed until Tarte is 100% vegan and cruelty free and I think that's what sets them apart from other brands. After my concealer, I usually put on powder. We are going with my favorite powder of all, Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. If you are subscribed to my channel, you already know we've made it to 500 subscribers. Yay! And so I am getting ready for the giveaway, guys. And Derma Blend, my most favorite powder, is going to be one of them. So, just another sneak peek for you. The Derma Blend powder is 100% cruelty free fragrance free phthalate free it's great for sensitive skin it's allergy tested and it's non-comedogenic okay my phone overheated it's a hot hot day here in california but i was able to find my beauty blender <laughs> it was supposed to go with the beauty blender foundation but that's okay now i have a clean sponge right there the other thing that i forgot to use man i've forgotten to use a lot of these things right the cover effects blurring primer um, I wasn't even gonna mention this because I already use Smashbox the hydrating primer cover effects is cruelty free 100% vegan and it's PETA approved so when we say it's PETA approved you know it's all the good stuff in one they are you know against animal cruelty through and through the whole entire brand is vegan so wow this particular blurring primer it fills in my pores I also love the other primer the other cover effects primer which is the mattifying primer so I have both it has salicylic acid mattifying primer is perfect on my acne because it prevents the oils from being through but at the same time it has that salicylic acid um, you know the medication for the acne it's a great brand overall this is also paraben free talc free all the good stuff for you so derma blend as a brand as a whole is 100% cruelty free but it's also important to note that they are not vegan as you can see I have a little bit of eye makeup and we're gonna try to do kind of a fall inspired look this is one of my most favorite palettes I started with this one on my crease just all over my crease right here and also on the bottom lash line when I think about fall I think about reds purples now we're going with the reds we're gonna do this red right here urban decays eyeshadows and setting spray is 100% cruelty free but not all of their brands are vegan Next one, ColourPop Cosmetics, and I have the Frozen 2 palette. It has like all these purple colors, which I love. We're gonna go with this purple right here. And just get that purple in there. ColourPop as a brand is 100% cruelty-free, but they are not vegan. I'm taking the purple towards the middle. Hopefully in the start of the show, I'm gonna put some gold. We are going to put this gold right here. Oh my goodness, look how pigmented that is. <gasps> I love it. I love ColourPop eyeshadow. They're one of the best for sure. Okay, so after the eyes, I usually go for blush. This Hourglass blush is the only item that I own from Hourglass. And this is the color of the blush. Hourglass is 100% cruelty free. And in 2020, they pledged to be 100% vegan. So no phthalates, no sulfates, no parabens. And then for my bronzer, I'm not using bronzer for contouring because I already have like sharp high cheekbones, I feel like. And I use it more to just warm up the skin. I recently got this from my Ipsy bag. And so if you haven't watched my Ipsy bag unboxings, you should definitely check it out. One of the best unboxings I've had so far. Pacifica, who knew? It's not a high-end brand, 
Um, I believe this is like $18. I've never used any Pacifica makeup or skincare. I did win a Pacifica body lotion from Flaky Diva. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it here. I'll put it up here in the cards. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that they are 100% vegan and they are 100% cruelty free as a brand. So that's amazing. Pacifica definitely caught my attention. So we are gonna bronze it up. So it did warm up my skin a bit, but I had to really pile it on. Let's do highlighter next. Cover Girl Clean Fresh Line. CoverGirl, it's not 100% vegan, it's not 100% cruelty free as a brand as a whole. But they recently came up with their new line of 100% cruelty free, Leaping Bunny certified, clean beauty. So it's the pink line, it's also 100% vegan. Um, I love that it has this like cooling sensation. Can you guys see that highlight? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love the pigmentation, so creamy. Let's go ahead and do the eyeliner. Thrive Cosmetics. A brand with a cause, 100% vegan, 100% cruelty-free, is one of Allure's best in beauty. It's a philanthropic brand, so they stand and support women in need. I can't say good enough things about Thrive Cosmetics. Every time the stores get this mascara, they sell out so quickly. So be on the lookout for this. Definitely one of the best. Okay, we're down to our last two products. Of course, we need a setting spray. We are going with the Urban Decay All Nighter. Very well known setting spray. Urban Decay is cruelty free, but not all vegan product. This All Nighter is oil free, good for all skin tones, and it's paraben free. The last is the lipstick, the lippies. Okay, we're going with Fenty. Looks like this. Fenty Beauty or the lipstick is 100% cruelty-free but not all vegan products. They are considered a vegan-friendly brand, phthalates-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and is Allure's Best in Beauty Award. And if you don't want Fenty Beauty, you can also try Bite Beauty. Wear their lipstick and eat them too. <laughs> they are vegan and cruelty-free as well. This one is one of my favorite colors, the chai color, perfect for fall season. It has a brown undertone. Let me show you, but it still has that really nice red color. That is it guys. This is a full face of vegan and or cruelty free makeup. I hope you guys love this kind of fall inspired look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews and some unboxings here and there. So definitely stick around, join the family. There's always something to learn here on my channel, kind of like today. All these brands that I definitely didn't expect to be cruelty free or vegan, it just made me love these brands even more. I mean, I already love their makeup, their quality of makeup, and the fact that they're vegan and cruelty-free is just an added bonus. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I have a 500 subscriber giveaway coming up. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be announcing it, the rules, and how to enter, so definitely be on the lookout. And with that said, I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!